Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe playthrough. Last time we uh, did two more levels of Wild World, and we're going to continue on with the fourth level, and uh, likely the fifth level as well. Maybe even an additional level on top of that. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Ninja too, since we pretty much had that for the entire level, like last time from my own understanding. Anything over here? Doesn't seem like it's... But yeah, kind of this uh, jungle water theme of this world has kind of turned into like kind of a temple theme, which is kind of interesting. But you don't really see a lot of this kind of stuff in Kirby, so... It is kind of a unique take on this. Also, the uh, the snake stabs from uh, Aladdin are here, I guess. Jafar's staff. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Oh, Jafar. Also, I guess that is technically a new ability we haven't seen yet. But do I, do I really want to showcase sleep? <laughs> Is that something we really want to do right now? I guess I could do that. So, over here! We have the sleep ability. Where Kirby falls asleep. That's really about it. Ability that doesn't really do anything. It doesn't even heal your health. Like, I think that was actually one of the applications they used for sleep in uh, Squeak Squad, if I remember correctly. And I always thought that was pretty cool that they actually did that. It's like, you know what? Let's actually give sleep something. Like, we'll give people a reason for using it, even if it is still like pretty much the most useless ability in the game. I've, I've always personally been a fan of when the games did that. Ooh, yeah. Burn them. Burn. Burn to the ground! Burn, burn, burn! Burn to the ground! Okay, oh, we have this again. Hey, remember this thing? This is not a forced gimmick at all. But yeah, for this, since we're trying to, like... Oh, shoot. I don't see a keychain yet. Oh my god! This is the thing I think we need to get, so... Just get to the end. What am I doing? Oh, shoot. Hurry up! No! <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> I was trying to open it while I was in the air, which is something you can do in Kirby Superstar. I just don't think you can do it in this game. And again, I was just ru I was like completely rushed. Getting getting comboed by this guy definitely didn't help. <laughs> Actually, it was this guy, but still same basic enemy there. Okay. Yeah, that that was me just like completely panicking in like every sense of the word panicking. I don't even think I need this anymore. Yeah, literally, I think this is just kind of useless now. Okay, well, we got it that time. It's just weird how, like, 
you know, when you make a little mistake, a mistake that doesn't matter, like, you still kind of panic when you're on a time crunch like that. So that just, like, really kind of threw me off more than anything. Let's see, do I want to go down or up first? Probably up since the arrow's pointing down. Hello. Okay, so that was an easy rare keychain to find. I guess we're using Crash again. God, hurry up. Hurry up. There we go. Okay. I was getting worried there, but I got it. I, I waited too long to do that crash. Yeah, I think that there's like... There's, like, no reason to wait for Crash. I think you just kind of want to get the damage in as soon as possible. Even if there is, like, a slight damage variation, it's, like, not much. So I feel like it's better just to get the hit in and just focus on getting rid of the boss more than anything. Stone is actually, I think, a pretty solid ability in this game compared to other games. Like, uh, like I'll be real, Stone is definitely, I think, a good ability to use in, like, some of the arenas of uh, the Kirby games because you have, like, kind of that invulnerability against bosses. But at least in this, this uh, game, they have, like, a more, like, offensive ability, like the Fist. It doesn't have a lot of range, but I imagine it does a fair amount of damage to bosses when you can actually utilize it properly. So yeah, I guess that's it, yeah. Okay then, well, another level completed. Can we once again get max power? Nope. Uh, I was afraid of that. I feel like we got a lot of keychains though. So we have Bean Bon, Pacto, Shocked DDD, <laughs> and Wing Kirby. Okay, so once again, all new sticker, or all new keychains. Again, it's so easy to call them stickers because I believe they look exactly like that in uh, Robobot, and the collectible is stickers in that game. So. Bear with me if I call them stickers. I mean keychains. Just assume whenever I say the word sticker in this game, I mean keychain. That'll just make everyone's life easier. It means less people in the comments correcting me every five seconds. <laughs> that would be nice. So the gimmick of this level is, I, I guess they want to teach you how to open treasure chests, even though that's something you have been able to do the entire game. But yeah, there's a lot of treasure chests here. I guess kind of the idea is that this is like a, a temple filled with treasure. So that's kind of what they're going for here. Which I, I have no complaints about that, that's pretty cool. Look at that, that guy's like guarding the treasure chest. That's cute. Yeah. So I think I wanna get you just to have that platform free.
So what do we do here? I think we wanna... I think we need to get rid of this guy. Not really a reason to do that. Because I'm not like carrying something up here, right? Yeah, okay, I think I think I'm thinking of something else. Either way, let's go ahead. Continue on. Ha! Health. I see how it is. Okay, so I don't want to go up there yet. I want to see what's in here first. Stamp. Also, I said stamp there. No, I didn't say sticker or keychain there. I said stamp. <laughs> well, I'm just getting everything wrong now. Okay, well, I already have beam, so I'll use beam. Do I want to get that later? Okay, I think you can use that bomb to destroy these blocks and make the boss end really quickly. But you may need the power up, so I'm gonna not worry about that. I guess one thing I could do is I could go back and get the thing now just to see if there's not hiding anything. I don't think it is though. Actually, should I have waited? Maybe there was something up here. Nope. Okay, we're good. We're good to keep on moving. right now. Okay, I do remember this. So yeah, this is kind of a puzzle you have to do. 
where you need to uh, first go to the background, get rid of this guy. And what you're essentially doing is you're making yourselves a way to get up. So we're going to hold this down. Well, apparently we're not. Actually, no, this is what we're doing. Sorry if you hear noises in the background. I have my window open because it's actually a nice day for once, so I wanted to have some fresh air. There we go. I feel like we have back-to-back -back sunstones, pretty much. Back-to-back -back sunstones. I'm also just going to verify we haven't missed the... Uh, okay. I think we get the rare uh, thing in this room. Sunstones, there's a rare keychain, there goes the cannon helmets, we're good. Ah, oh, thanks for the carrot, I guess. <laughs> and there we go, that's it. That's it for that level. And I don't think I actually got the best result here. I think I got a two. Yep. Oh, well. We tried. So here we got the bomb bar keychain. We get the Myga keychain. We get Marks from Kirby Superstar, and we get Hothead from Kirby's Adventure. Haven't gotten any duplicates in a while, which is nice. It's good that they're kind of easing off on those a little bit. Oh, and there's the Stage 6 boss, or the World 4 boss. But we're also going to get a Secret Level... number are we at actually 90 so we probably won't get a hundred in this world but we will probably in the next world um I guess I'll go ahead and do this level and then we'll probably end the video I know we have only the boss left but I guess it'll depend on how long this level is once again, uh, this extra level will be kind of like a mismash, mishmash of all the uh, different gimmicks we've seen in this world. Go away, circus guy. <laughs> Kind's theme playing. 
This doesn't seem like a water theme. But again, that's, that, that's again kind of the beauty of the Kirby, like, just general soundtrack, as I was kind of talking about earlier. Like, uh, like I said before, you know, they try to use, like, a bunch of different, like, remixes from the entire series. I'm actually surprised I was able to duck under that. But yeah, like, you know, what's normally like a water theme, for example, they could actually kind of change it up a little bit, and it's kind of a unique theme now, kind of a jungle theme a little bit. Uh, hold on, before I do that, just want to make sure there wasn't a keychain hiding there. Oh no, I almost hit that spike. What would I do if I hit it? I'll grab that, oh god. Don't you feast on me! Oh boy, it's this area again. No, my hammer! Whatever will I do without it? Oh god, I almost fell through there. I don't know if I'm ready to leave this room yet. Maybe I am. Just a one-up. Is that really worth it? Because I kind of doubt it. Doubt it. <laughs> okay, yeah, give me my hammer back. So I can slam things with my hammer. Okay, so here's this room. Uh, for this room, we have three keys. Uh, we'll need to get all of them. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I really wanted to keep that hammer, but... <laughs> I suppose living is more important than getting all the treasure. That's the rare keychain. We still need the two sunstones, though.
feel like I'd almost prefer to get that, honestly, as opposed to the circus. But I'm assuming what we're looking for is in here. Yes, it is. Oh, God, I remember this. This is pretty obnoxious, not gonna lie. So, see, what you have to do here is... <laughs> You have to light this in a very particular way. Like, you have to keep in mind, the middle block that I'm moving, once you light one of them, uh, you won't be able to light it again. So, what you have to do is you have to figure out which one of these you have to use for each of these. So, for example, I can't use the straight down one for the final one, so I have to use that one first. So, what I have to do is I have to line this up. You know what? There we go. So we're going to do that. Then we have to go over here to light this one. Then we go over here to light this one. And then we go all the way over here to light this one. And we did it. Yes! Yes! I didn't jump in the cannon. Damn it. But there we go. Uh, gah, gah, gah. We got everything though, so now we just have to worry about the one that we will automatically get once we reach the end of the stage, so. We all good. I'm just gonna go over here and not jump in the freaking pit. I could get needled, but I don't know. You know, I will get needled, because. Circus is not... Circus is, funnily enough, not as entertaining as some of the other abilities. Man, this was actually a pretty long level. There was probably a keychain down there. I can't tell. Thanks for the Giga Pudding, though. your hammer so I can use it to hit all the bad guys okay we're done yeah that was actually a pretty long level after like so many of these have been like ridiculously short Interesting how that works out, I guess. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, um, keychains we get for this. And then we'll end the video. We got... Sor Sorar. Meta Knight Ball. Boss Butch from Kirby's Dreamland 3. We got an entire mode as a keychain. Uh, Fan Fan from Nightmare in Dreamland, Waddle Do, and that'll do it. That'll Waddle Do it. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time when we do the boss of World 4, and we'll start World 5. See you guys then. Later, folks.